right, Algebra 2. How about we do? Um, today is February 29th, leap year. Might be a crazy day, won't it, Bubby? Yeah, yeah. He's awake now, so you guys will have to deal with it. Um, we're going to talk about functions. In particularly, I can't even say big words. Uh, we're going to determine whether they are even. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <coughs> well, sorry, Bubby. Odd. Or neither. That's what we're going to do. Isn't that right, Bub? Yeah, you just a smiling. Oh, if a picture could say a thousand words. So we got uh, three types of functions. Even, odd, or neither. And I'm going to show you how to uh, determine that. Are you ready, Bubby? All right. He says, hey, Logan. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's move on. Uh, first example, we're going to determine if it's even, odd, or neither. Now, I'm not going to write you a list of rules. You can do this yourself. Uh, what I'm going to do to determine whether it's even, odd, or neither is I'm going to rewrite the function. And we talked about input in functions I'm going to use negative x as my new input. Okay, it's all about negative x. Okay, so here's what happens. I'm going to plug in negative x for every x in the function. Okay? Here's my little man. <laughs> okay, now... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to simplify this, evaluate it. So we get negative 3. Now, negative 1x squared is positive 1x. Okay? Negative 1 squared is positive 1. x to be squared is x squared plus 4. Okay? Now I'm going to distribute that negative 3. <laughs> negative 3x squared plus 4 is what I end up with. Now, <laughs> you're probably thinking, what in the heck just happened? If you look here and look here, did anything change? You're probably right if you're saying no. Nothing changed. Everything remained the same no matter what the input was. I just used negative x for my input. To determine whether it was even, odd, or neither. And in this case, since nothing changed from here to here with a different input, I'm going to put it is even. Okay? So if everything... If everything remains the same... Remains the same with <laughs> negative x it is even okay oh bubby alrighty uh, so let's go to example 2 alright I want to do the exact same thing <laughs> Hang on just a minute, I'm going to hit pause. Okay, I think we're ready now. What we're going to do is, uh, sorry, um, I did the exact same thing. Plug in negative x into the equation, and for every x. And guys, if you want to, if there's not one there, put one there. It ain't going to matter. Minus 4 parentheses negative 1x. Okay. Now let's evaluate this. And you got to be careful. Negative 1 to the third power is still negative 1. 
Okay, think about it. negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. X to the third is X to the third. So the X point don't, didn't change there. Now distribute. I don't have no X point here. Hey, bubba. I want to distribute negative 4 is negative 1 X. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4 X. Now let's keep going here. I'm going to distribute this. That's going to be negative 2X to the third plus 4X. Now, that is simplified. But here's the difference here. This was 2X to the third. This was negative 2X to the third. The exact opposite. Note what I just said. Exact opposite. This was minus 4X. This is plus 4X. The exact opposite. If you see exact opposite, then it's said to be odd. Okay? Exact opposite. You just look at each term. Positive, negative. Negative, positive. The, the actual term didn't change. It was just the sign. So if every sign in front of each term changes to the exact opposite. It is odd. Opposite odd. Alright? Yeah, baby, baby. Yeah, my little man. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting stuff, isn't it, bub? Alright, so... Last... Well, not last example, but... Um... Yeah. Let's go example three. <laughs> Bless you. Now, I'm going to plug in negative x into every x. And if there's not one there, put one there. So it's going to be 2 times negative 1x to the third minus 3. Negative 1x squared minus 4. Parentheses negative 1x plus 4. All right. If I plug negative 1x and for every x into the original function, the red function that I got here, and I simplify it, well, that's going to be negative 1x to the third. I'm going to do parentheses first, minus 3. Now watch what happens here. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. x to be squared is x squared. Now, this one don't have an exponent, so I'm going to go ahead and distribute that. Negative, one, uh, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4x plus 4. Okay, now let's continue and distribute. That's negative 2x to the third. Yeah. Minus 3x squared plus 4x plus 4. <laughs> Bubby's getting all excited over this math. He's just like daddy. Okay, now, something uh, peculiar happens, and then something really don't happen at all. Um, here, here's the thing. Uh, you look at this term. Do I have the exact opposite? Yes. You look at this term, I have the exact opposite. But what didn't change? Okay. Well, the negative 3x squared didn't change when I plugged in negative 1x. And the positive 4, it didn't change, obviously. So, you know, you're kind of in no man's land with saying, well, not everything was the exact opposite. Not everything stayed the same. It's kind of half and half. So, uh, if it's neither one or the other, well, we just kind of answered it. It's neither. Even or odd. And that's how you'd label it. It's neither. Okay? So, if you get into that kind of mix up 
Well, you know, you got two things that changed here and two things that stayed the same. You can't really determine anything, so you just write neither. Kind of like a no solution. You do all that work for nothing. Okay. But it happens. Yeah, it does, don't it, Bubba? All right, so now um, let's look at these graphically. Uh, graphically is much easier than algebraically. Yeah, uh, I do believe so myself. It's all about the y-axis. So I'm going to draw a y here, here, and here. All right. Now, this first example, I'll put a star by it. That's not really a good looking star, but there. Uh, this first example, uh, we have a parabola that's uh, opening downward. Um, if something is cut directly down the middle, okay. If we look, highlight that y-axis, I'm going to keep doing that. And it's a mirrored image. It's a perfect reflection. So if we see a perfect reflection. Uh, my pen. A perfect reflection. I'm going to put perfect underneath. Along the y-axis. Okay. If you see that. That means that this function is even. Okay? Yeah, even. Say, say even? Can you say even? Uh, that sounds more like odd, but it's even. Yeah. Okay? Now, in this next picture, okay, we already took care of this part. Let's look at this guy now. Again, down the y-axis. Okay. Now, <laughs> this one's kind of harder to see. But uh, what you do is, if it's a perfect rotation around the origin, okay, which is right here, Da, da, da. If it's a perfect rotation, and if I say this, hopefully from geometry, remember, 180 degrees, it's a perfect 180 degree rotation, then it's said to be, <laughs> sorry guys, it's pipe. Uh, uh, sorry guys, uh, Teen Mom really don't show you the real, true definition of parenting uh, and what they deal with. MTV can actually pay me millions of dollars and uh, I'll be fine with it. Uh, I'll be on their show. Uh, anyway, if this is a perfect 180 degree rotation around the origin... And you can kind of look at it along the y-axis as well. Then it's said to be odd. Okay. Looks like a weird word there. So it's odd. And if I draw a line on the y-axis on this last example. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to end this one a little short. Uh, and it's neither one of the two. It's not a perfect rotation along the... Uh, you know, it's not a perfect rotation around the origin. Or it's not a perfect reflection. It's going to be neither. Alright. Well, guys, hopefully... Oh, my goodness. It started off good, but he might be hungry. Uh, guys, hopefully uh, you get an idea and a sense of what's going on. Kind of what we're going to do for the next couple days anyway so uh you know mr teeters he's he's great he'll uh be able to help you out uh until then i will talk to you guys later